Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, A, B, C, D fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle with the center O. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, E, F is the diameter of this uh, semicircle. And moreover, uh, this horizontal segment uh, E, D is uh, one unit. And likewise, uh, this horizontal segment uh, CF is one unit as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, segment uh, PT is uh, two units. And this uh, diagonal uh, AC is being uh, represented by X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. In other words, uh, we are going to find the value of this uh, length uh, AC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And here's our very first step. I'm going to label uh, the radius of this my circle as uh, lowercase r. And now we can see E O is the radius of this my circle. So I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. And likewise, uh, this uh, O F uh, is the radius lowercase r as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, OP is our radius lowercase r as well. And now we know this segment uh, ED is 1. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, OD is going to be lowercase r minus 1. And likewise, uh, this uh, segment uh, OC is going to be lowercase r minus 1 as well. And now we know this segment uh, PT is uh, two units. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, OT is going to be lowercase r minus uh, two. And now in this uh, next step, I'm going to connect uh, these two points uh, C and T. As you can see in this uh, next step, we can see this uh, CT is the diagonal uh, of this uh, rectangle uh, TBCO and likewise I'm going to connect this center O with this uh, point B as well as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, OB is the diagonal of this very same uh, rectangle so therefore uh, both of these uh, diagonals are going to have an equal length and furthermore we can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this uh, semicircle. So therefore this uh, OB length is going to be lowercase r radius. So therefore uh, this uh, diagonal uh, CT length is going to be lowercase r radius as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle TOC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to find out the value of uh, radius uh, r. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase r, whereas our two other legs are uh, r minus 1 and r minus 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, lowercase r minus 1 square plus uh, lowercase r minus 2 square equal to r square. And now let's recall this famous identity, a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2 times a b plus uh, b square. And we are going to apply this identity on both of these uh, binomials, this binomial and this binomial on the left hand side. So therefore we can write uh, r square minus uh, 2 times r uh, plus uh, 1 plus likewise uh, r square minus uh, 4 times r plus 4 equal to r square. And now we can see this r square and this r square, they cancel each other out. And if we combine the like terms on the left hand side, we are going to get uh, r square minus uh, 6 times r plus 5 equal to 0. And now we can see this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve this one by grouping uh, and factoring. And now let's focus on this uh, constant uh, 5. 5 could be written as uh, 1 times uh, 5. And if we add uh, 1 and 5 that is going to give us uh, 6. 
which is the same number as over here in the middle. So therefore we are going to tweak this uh, middle term uh, negative 6r could be written as uh, negative 1r minus uh, negative 5 times r. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this negative 6r with uh, negative r minus uh, 5r. And here we can see between these first two terms uh, r is in common and between last two terms uh, negative 5 is in common. So therefore I'm going to factor out uh, lowercase r. So we got uh, r minus 1 and here I'm going to factor out uh, negative 5. So we got uh, r minus 1 equal to 0 and here we got uh, r minus 1 and r minus 1 in common. So therefore we got uh, r minus 1 times uh, r minus 5 equal to 0 and now I'm going to break these uh, factors down into r minus 1 equal to 0 and the other factor I can write r minus 5 equal to 0. This first equation is going to give us lowercase r value is 1 unit and for this second equation r radius value is 5 units. And now we can see r equals to 1 value is not feasible. So therefore we are going to reject this r equals to 1 value and we are going to accept r equals to positive 5 value. So thus our lowercase r radius value turns out to be 5. So therefore uh, this height uh, OT is going to be R minus 2 means 5 minus 2 that is going to give us uh, 3 units. And if this uh, OT length uh, is 3 units uh, then this uh, AD length is going to be 3 and likewise uh, BC length is going to be 3 units as well. And likewise uh, this uh, OD length is going to be R minus 1 and we know our value is 5 so 5 minus 1 is going to give us uh, 4 units so therefore our uh, OD length turns out to be 4 units so therefore uh, this uh, OC length is going to be 4 units as well so therefore uh, this whole uh, side uh, DC is going to be 4 plus 4 is to make it uh, 8 units and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to calculate the value of uh, this uh, diagonal uh, x value and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, x whereas our other two legs are uh, 8 and uh, 3 units. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 8 square plus uh, 3 square is going to be equal to x square. So therefore x square value is going to be 73. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our uh, x value turns out to be square root of uh, 73 units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be square root of 73 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 8.544 units as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.